Dobre dnes. We're learning more tonight about the man shot and killed by police outside of a middle school and about the last minutes leading up to that deadly encounter. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Amber Wilmarth. Oregon State Police have identified him as Charles Frederick Landeros. The 30-year-old from Eugene was a former University of Oregon student and an activist. KEZI 9 News interviewed him in October of 2017 when he and others held a student protest that interrupted what was supposed to be President Michael Schill's annual address at the University of Oregon. Students are taking back their power. Students are taking back their voice. We will no longer be regulated uh, to when, where, and how we can speak. And we also spoke to an eyewitness to the shooting tonight who described the struggle between officers and Landeros outside of the school before those shots were fired. The witness tells KEZI that Landeros was at Cascade Middle School and that he was shot in front of his daughter. Eugene police say they were called out to the school at around 10.30 a.m. for a custody dispute with Landeros. Police say they began escorting the 30-year-old back to his truck when they say he pulled out a gun. And after a struggle, he was shot by police. The interagency deadly force investigation team is reviewing what happened. We've called the IDFIT, which is the interagency deadly force investigation team, who is conducting the investigation for our agency, and that'll be Oregon State Police. And Eugene Police Chief Chris Skinner commented on the investigation today. He wrote on Twitter that there are so many details to investigate when an officer is involved in a shooting. Oregon law under Senate Bill 111 establishes a deadly force protocol for each county. It's important that the investigation occurs outside of the involved agency. And as we mentioned, Landeros was an activist, and one of the groups that he did belong to is speaking out tonight. The Civil Liberties Defense Center posted this to Facebook just a few hours ago. They say he leaves behind two daughters, ages 10 and 12. They say he also leaves behind a partner, parents, younger brother, and numerous other family members and friends. Now, this group defines itself as a center that supports movements that seek to dismantle political and economic structures at the root of social inequality and environmental destruction.